Oh yeah, but before we get to all of that, springtime means project time. And project time often means digging in the yard, but before you start using that shovel, you need to use your phone. Take a look. Whether it's a job site or just your backyard, if you're going to be digging, there is a proper way to do it. And with me today is Derek Leffert, and he is with Missouri One Call System. Explain what the One Call is all about, first of all. Yeah, Missouri One Call System is more commonly known as Dig Right. It's the call before you dig number that uh, everybody probably sees on television, hears on the radio. Essentially, what we do is uh, if anytime somebody's doing any excavation activity, whether it's a homeowner, that's planting a tree or a bush, or if it's a professional contractor that's doing some, some contracting work, uh, that they're required by law to contact us and let us know that they're gonna be doing that. And then what we do, our, our role really is to contact all the utilities that are in the area, let them know excavation work's gonna be taking place, and then they go out and you see paint marks, you see flags all over the ground. Right. That's, that's essentially what our system is, is there to do. Okay, and uh, you know, sometimes when people hear the word excavation, they think, well, I'm not going to have a backhoe in here. I'm not going to have a bulldozer. I'm just digging a hole with a shovel. Right. Still applies. It is. Yeah, it does. And that's actually, that's a, that's a very good point. A lot of people think, well, if I'm just using a shovel, if I'm only going six inches, you know, I don't, I don't really need to call. But actually, generally where people are doing that kind of work is where those underground utilities are buried. So the law actually requires, doesn't matter if you're using a, a track hoe, backhoe, or a garden hoe, you're, they're required to call. Well, then let me ask this. Anywhere on your property? I mean, I think we all assume that, that, any kind of uh, utility is going to be around a periphery right. or maybe in a straight line for where we see a junction. Right. Not necessarily so. No, it's not. And, you know, there's a lot more utilities that are going in the ground now. You see a lot of fiber to the home projects. Mm -hmm. Uh, don't don't assume that those are right by the road because sometimes they're not. You also have sewer laterals, water you know water service lines, any number of gas service lines, telephone service lines. All of those things run uh, in ways that you may not expect. Another thing that you said that I wanted you know just just for clarity, this is not a request. This is the law. It is yeah, one hundred percent yeah, and, and you can actually be fined if if you don't follow the law. All right. Now, they come in, they put markings down. I've, mm -hmm. I, you know, I've seen the, the paint markings, I've seen the flags. How do you know what they all mean? Well, you can, you can find that on our website. There's a color code that's associated with that. So you see an orange mark, that's usually gonna be fiber optic or, or cable or telephone. You see a red mark, that's gonna be electric. But generally speaking, for the most part, you're just gonna see basically dashed lines. Right. Uh, occasionally, you're gonna see some other marks. Those are more geared towards professional contractors. Uh, than homeowners, but if a homeowner's curious, they can always get on our website and check those out. Now that mark or flag you see, is that a center line? How does that work? I mean, how far from this flag or which way can I dig? That's a great question. So uh, it's it's two feet on either, either side of those marks. So generally they're gonna try to define the center line. That's not always the case. So that's why there's that two foot buffer on either side of it. And take it as this is the way it is. Don't Don't maybe scoop out to see how you know, deep something is. Yeah, because that's usually when people get in trouble, that's usually when they end, end, end up that like first scoop. something. Yeah. yeah. All right, if, if people want to uh, be able to find more information about this or learn about this whole process, how do they get that information? Well, the, probably the best source of information for them is gonna be our website, www.mo1call.com. A lot of information there for both homeowners and professional contractors. We would encourage anybody uh, to check that out, and if they need some, if they have a questions or need additional information, they're welcome to call our office. And it's basically, if you're going to dig, call first. Yep, it's the law. Yeah, right. and it's free. There, free, and remember, yeah. it is the law. It is. Yeah.